Good morning, kids. This is Papa with lesson number two out of 77. So you only got 75 more after today. Aren't you glad? It's going down slow. So I'm going to teach you today how to do dishes. It's not something you have to do, but if you learn to do it, you'd make your mom and dad happy. And uh, you would improve yourself. Everything is to make yourself better through life. Makes you more mature. Look up the word mature. And with maturity, you get more responsibility and more freedom to do things. So if you guys could learn this today, it's not the only way to wash dishes. I'm going to throw you, show you Papa's way. A little bit out of breath, sorry. So uh, if you and Amika could maybe take turns twice a week and do dishes for your mom, She'd really love that, and your dad too. It would give her time to do other things that she'd like to do instead of being always having me take care of you because you guys now are getting older where you can start taking care of yourself. You know, you now know how to take baths and how to dress. And when you're a baby, you'd go, wah, wah, and your mommy would give you food. And then you go, wah, wah, and mommy change your diaper. And you go, wah, wah. And mommy, mommy wouldn't know what to do. So, if you do these kind of things as you grow older, you're now able to do all, do all these little things. But I'm going to show you now how Papa does dishes. So you might not want to do dishes too for your mom. And make her very happy. You'd be very helpful. The first thing you have to do in any job, whether it be schoolwork, like when you get ready to go to school, Make sure you have paper, pencils, ruler, or whatever you have to have. So every job you do, no matter what it is, washing the car, cutting grass, uh, anything, any job you have to do, you have to first prepare and make your uh, be ready to do what you have to do. So today we're going to start off by putting our towels out here because we need a place where we can rinse the dishes once we get them going. And so I'm going to do that first. Now we've got that ready. Second, you want a place to be able to put your uh, dishes because you're going to first rinse them off. You first rinse all, all dishes first. Get all the food off and all the garbage off before you even wash. That's part of being prepared. So I'm going to start rinsing. Okay, so hang on. We're going to rinse these dishes. And get them ready to wash. Very, very simple, but very helpful and needy. You might be getting, you might get bored with Papa, but that's okay. Life sometimes can be boring. So we're going to try to get this ready as quick as possible, so you don't get bored. Everything I'm doing is rinse it all, everything off, to make sure that it's clean of uh, food. You don't have to rinse everything off because you're going you're to wash the dishes eventually. So, first off, we're going to do that. Get the area clean. If you want, you can be singing a song while I'm doing this. So, it's all part of getting the dishes clean. This one here was full of chocolate pudding last night. But also a good idea is when you have dirty dishes, if there's something in there that's sticky, you should put water in it so it can sit there and rinse and soak. It'd be easier to clean that way. So this pan here we had uh, we had a lot of pea <coughs> And the pea soup, if you can see this pan, is very, if I had not rinsed this last night so it was water, it would be very hard to get it clean in the morning. So if you soak it with water and you turn it through, it'll be much easier to wash. You'll really enjoy that. <coughs> okay, yeah. is this all ready? Everything's getting prepared. <coughs> 
We haven't even started washing dishes yet. We're just getting everything to wash ready. Uh, Mika, were you able to look up the word negotiate? Uh, I mean, uh, negotiate, that's the wrong word, that's a good word. Did you look up the word etiquette and see how to spell it and how to say it and where it came from? You know, was it French or German or English or what was it? Jamaican? You look it up and see where it came from, the word etiquette. Also, let me know again if you need a map of the United States so that you can draw a map between <coughs> Florida and California. See how far it is. I'm going to turn on the garbage disposal. Okay. <coughs> now, I got all the dishes rinsed and I'm ready to put the soap. You need a place to put the soap and a place to rinse them. So we have two here. You've only got one where you live. But there's a way of doing it, just keep them separated. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some dish soap in here. And you can finally start washing dishes. Now, <clears throat> you want a good place for them to, to rinse when you're finished. So they can dry off. And then you can put them away. So I'm filling up this part. The best thing to start with is flat dishes. Start off with dishes that are flat. Either plates or our little dishes like this, whatever it is, flat. And get those washed. And we do it this way because it gets really clean. You don't mix with anything, your food is cleaned off, and it's ready to go. So you rinse off these. You stack them over here. You do these kinds so you can stack them up like this so they dry easy. Next will be bowls. Any kind of bowls we got here. Again, you just wash them out good with your sponge. Get them all clean. Like so, I'm washing every dish inside and out. And that's good for health. That way there you don't have germs and you don't have ants and you don't have everything wrong so be sure and rinse them off good like this and you can stack them up here like this everything is leaning against everything so that it'll drain good if you just lay them down on the ground they don't have anywhere to drain but if you stack them up all the water can be draining off of them and it's much faster. Um, it's, like I said, this is, I'm not trying to say this is the only way, but this is the way Papa did it, and I've been doing it for, oh, probably 50 years washing dishes. So I think I got a little bit of experience in doing it. Everything is stacked up. Now I'm going to do the silverware, and each one is going to get washed separately. Because if you just do it crazy, you're not getting the dirt off, you're not getting the food off, you're not getting the germs off or anything. So everyone, I wash off individually like that. Make sure I'm getting everything. Okay. And that's all the silverware we got. That's dirty. So when this is done, I'll stick something else in. While we're waiting to rinse those off, I'll stick this in because it's sort of flat. And here's the, the bowl. And we'll rinse off these with some water. And you, this might be sound silly, but if you put them down with the down like that, then the water can drain off of them properly. I know this sounds crazy and maybe very uh, a lot of people wouldn't do it that way, but this is the way Papa does it. So everything gets rinsed good. Okay, so I'm going to finish the bowls. And get that done. Last, I do the, uh, I do all cups and water cups and coffee cups and any cup that you used 
for anything. I put those in next, towards the end. Rinse off what I did. I know, like I said, I might be boring you to death, but kind you don't forget the magic word, the secret word that we're gonna use when we're done. So you can say the magic word, or the secret word that you and I have for men, and uh, we'll be done. I'm almost done now. I wash the inside of the cups like this, just spin them around. You get nice and washed, everything's clean, perfect. And yeah, but you two guys will do this for your mom maybe twice a week. When you get one day Amika does it, next day Kaiser does it. I'm not saying to do all the meals, but helping mommy do dishes and she'll appreciate it. And like I said, that's a sign of growing up getting older and taking responsibility because uh, work work when you finish your job is always satisfying gratifying and everything else it makes you feel good about yourself because you did something you accomplished something just like at school when you get work hard and you get a good grade at school you feel good about yourself so <clears throat> i'm just cleaning up a little bit i'm <clears throat> going to say goodbye <clears throat> for today and we've only got 75 more lessons to go so that's about it for today if we love you kids i miss you kaija with all your funny pranks you do and amika your beautiful voice in the morning sweet voice tell me good morning pops i miss that a lot i miss amy with all her generosity and her uh smirt off i miss that too and all the kindness and everything you guys showed us. We appreciate it. Love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.